What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about a game that has stood the test of time. Warframe has been around since 2012 and it doesn't seem like it's going anywhere anytime soon. But before we really get into this video, a little history lesson. Warframe is a game I can definitely say has had a rocky past, but that's for a good reason. Digital Extremes released Warframe out of complete desperation. The market for mid-level game studios was drying out, so DE had almost no work coming in from publishers. They were on the cusp of bankruptcy and had a very short amount of time to ship a game to save the company. So they built Warframe in a very short time span, so naturally the first version of Warframe was very bare bones and rough around the edges. If you first experienced Warframe a long time ago and didn't like it, I can promise you it's a very different experience now. Warframe can be a bit hard to understand if you haven't been playing for a while, so hopefully this will help some of you new guys out. In this video, we're going to be talking about the basics and why you need to be playing Warframe. Right off the bat, I'm going to address one thing. This game isn't pay to win, and anyone who says it is doesn't understand what pay to win really is. And for those people, here's an explanation. A pay to win game allows players to have an advantage over other players if they pay real money meaning players who don't spend money on microtransactions won't ever be able to reach the power level of players who paid. If you have really played Warframe, then you know it isn't pay to win. Warframe is what I like to call pay to accelerate. You can do everything in this game without paying a single dime, but it will take time to do it. Warframe does time gate a lot of things, and the only way to get around that is by a currency called Platinum, which can be bought or traded for with players. To get the best experience out of this game, you are going to be spending a little money on Platinum, which isn't a bad price to pay for the game you're getting. This game is free to play after all, so it needs a way to sustain itself somehow. So this is completely understandable, and I don't fault DE for making it this way. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, let's get into the basics of Warframe. One of the most confusing things in Warframe is figuring out what to do once you've acquired your first Warframe. First, you need to hunt down Captain Vor and remove the Ascaris from your Warframe. Next, you need to fight your way through the planets and their junctions and upgrade your gear along the way. Once you get the Nata quest, the main story begins. Once you complete the entire line of story quests so far, you can do a variety of things. Of course, you will be switching and trying out new Warframes and weapons as you go along. Once you figure out what frames you really like, you can really get into mod building. Mod building is really an acquired skill, so I can't really explain that to you. However, I will be making frame and weapon specific build videos in the future. Then you of course will probably want to get some primes so you can increase your power even more. And for those of you that don't know what primes are, they are extra special more powerful versions of specific weapons and warframes. And trust me, you'll need them. After all of that, the choice is yours. Go fight the free run bosses, do side quests, get more primes, sell them for platinum, then of course fashion frame your heart out. So yeah, those are the basics. Now let's get to why you should be playing warframe. First reason is the developer. DE cares a lot about this game, more than I've seen any other AAA game developer seem to care about their titles. DE cares about their community more than anything. After all, the community is what keeps this game alive. Out of most games I've played in my life so far, I can definitely say this one has a great developer behind it. That isn't to say they haven't made their fair share of mistakes though. In fact, they missed the mark pretty recently with the Scarlet Spear event. But that doesn't mean Warframe isn't an absolute masterpiece of a game, because it absolutely is. DE has been on the cusp of bankruptcy, and I'm sure they don't want to be there again, so updating Warframe with exciting new content and keeping the community happy is their first priority. Here's a good example of how DE listens to their players in all the right ways. In the early, early days of Warframe, like a very long time ago, bullet jumping did not exist but an exploit in the game allowed players to do something similar that involved a timed melee while jumping. So instead of doing what most developers would do, which would be remove it and slap the players on the hand for cheating, they added bullet jumping to the game so players could do it without an exploit. There are plenty of examples I could give of DE listening to their player base, but I don't want to make this video longer than it has to be. Moral of the story, DE cares. The second reason is going to be the storyline. The story of Warframe is actually really interesting, at least to me. There are so many jaw-dropping moments in this story, and I won't spoil anything, but it's crazy. Also, I know the story can be a little hard to understand if you don't really listen to the dialogue, but I'm going to be making a video about the story in the near future so you guys can get a good grasp of what's going on. All I'm going to say is, for the people that know, the new war has me wanting to purge some sentience. Reason number three is the gameplay experience. The overall combat in Warframe is so fun. Honestly, I could do it for hours and not get tired of it. Being able to run around with a giant sword and cleave enemies clean in half is awesome. 
As of this video, there are 394 weapons in Warframe. So yeah, there's a few, and they are all unique in their own way. The movement system is smooth, fast, and easy to use. There are so many different Warframes to utilize and have fun with. The customization is insane, and you can let your creativity run wild. Every other player I run into looks completely different than the last, and I love that. There's primed versions of different weapons and Warframes to grind for that look and perform like badasses, and as long as you have something you want, there are endless things to do in this game. As soon as I get something I've been wanting in Warframe, there's always something else that catches my eye after that. The visual quality looks amazing, and the lighting in this game is executed so well. I mean, look at the detail on these Warframes, it's pretty insane. The sound design is perfect, especially for the weapons and abilities. There are arc wings that let you fly around in space, and the recently released Railjacks that are little frigates that you can pilot and conduct space raids from. There are open world areas like the Plains of Eidolon and Orb Vallis. Needless to say, there's a lot, and you won't finish this game in a couple of days. I've been playing Warframe on and off for years. Yes, I said years, and I still have things that I could do. I have some uncompleted side quests and more primes to get, more weapons to try, more frames to try, more focus schools to try, and so much more. It's the gift that just keeps on giving. Last but not least is the community. The Warframe community is absolutely amazing, every single one of them. Everyone I've run into is nice, mostly everyone is helpful towards newer players, and of course there's always something funny in server chat. The community is a big part of what makes this game so great, it's overwhelmingly positive, which seems to be pretty rare with most games nowadays, so it's a nice change of pace. If you haven't played Warframe or given it much of a shot, you need to play it. It's an absolute masterpiece of a free-to-play game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did make sure to leave a like if you love Warframe, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one, later.